What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Billy's Game Garage. Now for today's episode I'm going to be talking about a topic that has been on my mind for a little bit recently as uh, the prices of used games are going up and up uh, seemingly for now and uh, we've tried to look for the best ways to get the most games for the least amount of money and I just want to talk for a few moments about should I buy games that are not complete in box now this is a question that gets brought up quite a bit in the gaming world and especially in the game collecting world you need to decide what you want your game collection to be so do you want your game collection to be uh, complete games and do you want your game collection to be an actual like collection that serious collectors would uh, admire and you know look at for uh, examples on how to do their game collection so it depends on if you want to be a serious game collector or if you just want to have the games to play the game so me personally I don't consider myself to be a game collector because honestly I don't care if the games complete or not now would I like to have all my games complete yes I would love to have games complete and that's what I look for first is games to be complete in box now through time you know out and about looking if I find a good deal on a game that's complete I might pick it up to you know if I already have the game in cartridge only or in disc only yeah I'd like to uh, you know better that and make it a better version of that and get one that's complete but simple answer is I just I don't need it because I don't consider myself to be a serious collector and I don't really strive to have things complete in box I know a lot of you do and I completely respect that but me being on a limited budget for buying games I just don't have the ability to do that so let's we'll take a look at a few things that I've done uh, through my game collecting that maybe it could help you out now uh, it's important to note that it kind of depends on where you're buying the games from now if you're getting CD games in large lots on auctions online or uh, through um, eBay or things like that I'd be kind of leery of disc only but if you're going to your used game score and they have a disc only game I wouldn't pass it up now a lot of game stores uh, that I know locally either do one of two things with their uh, disc only games and really some places aren't even selling them anymore because they said they don't sell a lot of them which is crazy to me because I buy quite a few of them because I want the game to be able to play the game so uh, one thing that they do is uh, yeah one game store I know uses these paper sleeves like that that they just put the game the disc inside so that's one way that they do them is they just throw it in there now what I do is I take it back and when I get home I either do one of two things if it's like a ps1 game and I'm gonna store it on my CD shelf then I'll just pick up some of these jewel cases you know like this and just put it uh, you know just put the disc in this to protect it and uh, to make it sit nice on the shelf and you can even do you know little labels on the side or you know whatever your preferences of how you want uh, your games to be displayed on the shelf so that's one thing you can do um, also another thing you can do is um, what I've done for a few of my games I just take my color printer and I'll actually print out a uh, you know the front cover for the game so put it in a jewel case and then just throw that front sleeve in there and you won't have to worry about it it'll look nice it protects the game so that's one thing you can do and also um, if it's a, a PS2 game, there's a few places you can find. I think Target sells them, but they're actually uh, just blank DVD cases, which are the same size as a PS2 uh, case. So you can just take your um, game, put it in there, you know, close it up. And also you can do the same thing like I did with some of my PS1 games. You can actually put a uh, label in there for the front cover artwork. And I've done it on a few of them, but sizing it's pretty difficult to get it right. Now, I've also seen people online who get, uh, actually there's companies out there that make cases for games. Um, I've never done that myself, but I know of a few YouTube channels that do have shown how to do that and have uh, gone through that and made really great looking uh, cases for their games. Now, uh, Game Boy Advance is one system that is 
really hard to find games in box especially for not uh, super expensive price so that's one thing I've seen people do is use a hard case instead of the cardboard boxes because they get damaged really easily so that's just another option out there for you now the other game store I know that's here local I don't you'll have to check your local uh, game store to see what they do but the other game store around that I go to actually puts their games in a in an actual case that are disc only and they actually put um, you know like a little uh, cover art on it you know just a little example of the front cover on it and then they have you know little things on the back little game directions on the back that's kind of funny they put their own little humor into it so I kind of like that and I kind of like the um, the fact of you know taking this little snapshot of a game that I got from a store that you know who knows how long it's gonna be around which I hope is forever but you know we'll just have to see now uh, important note is some of the cons to buying games without a um, without complete in box is that you miss out like on PlayStation 1 games you can see this as an example when you don't have the front cover for a PlayStation 1 game at least in NTSC in uh, America you don't have the front artwork because the front the manual is the artwork on the front so that's kind of a con to that and also with the manual you don't have all the manual and instructions and everything which if you go to like a new game like let's say you've got you know Tales from the Borderlands PS4 you get it brand new all it comes with is a little you know two sleeve you know instruction book that's really not a manual all the manuals by today's standards are pretty much just on the game itself so but if you go to some uh, PS2 games like for instance Gun Griffin Blaze which is you know done by uh, working designs which really produce a nice quality game and really produce a nice quality manual that's got you know full pictures and color and it, it's on a thicker stock of paper and just there's just so much content in here you know so if you go with that then you get more content out of it so I would you know I know you some of y'all like the covers for that and also if you go to like even older games like Zelda 2 the uh, instruction books that come with that actually have like a little story in it so there's a lot of content that you miss out on when you don't buy complete when you buy disc only so so that's really the only con that I can think of with that is that you miss the content and it doesn't look as good on the shelf but with a little bit of uh, practice and a little bit of time and effort and very little cost you can make them look just like uh, the just like a complete inbox one so that's really uh, my only thoughts on this guys um, so if you're looking to just play the game like I do I don't necessarily care about the condition as long as the game plays that's all I really care about I'm here to play games and have fun with those games and share those games with my son and my family and just have a good time with them I don't I'm not into it to just buy the most expensive game that's complete just to have it to sit on a shelf I like to buy, buy games that I actually like to play and I like to play all my games so that's just my two cents on that guys so you just have to decide for yourself what you want your collection to be and what's most important to you. Do you want to play the game or do you want the condition and the uh, completeness of the collection? So that's it guys and uh, once again uh, just please hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and uh, let me know about your thoughts and what you like to do for your game collection down in the comments guys. And thanks for watching I hope to see you next time.